Any big mistake that you have made? Yeah. When we started learning about microfinance, we said this is very simple. We can do it by ourselves. Mm. Let's go to, we started in Uganda. Let's find what, some people there that could take care of the money we were giving. And let's choose a bunch of women that will be needing things. We lost our, our money. So normally when you are starting something from the scratch, even if it sounds like it resounds with me, I should be doing this. In reality, I was doing this before, but try to do something with someone else. So if you learn from someone, and you can help this someone a little bit or just co-invest with them or co-work with them, do it mm. because you will be learning. And uh, then the, the probability of, of having mistakes will be smaller. Right. This is my big learning. And start soon. A start soon is very important. I waited very much. I wanted to be sure. I want my children to be bigger. I want my husband business to be stronger. And then I really started to push this thing far when I was 45. Mm. It's not bad, but if I should have started in 35, maybe. So if you really have a call, like you said, and uh, you can do it because you can just live with whatever money you have or jump into it, jump into it. The sooner, mm. the better, because life is so short. <laughs> the sooner, the better, but you're saying also start small though, like yep. small step first. So you, you, can, yeah. you can learn about it. It better if you can learn with someone or through someone. Mm. I'm, I'm going to help this project that is similar to what I want to do. And maybe it's in another country. And then mm. I learn with them and see, and then I launch it here. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's funny because when we prepared this uh, interview, you told me uh, that you studied late, but hey, you say it's never too late. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and now you're just talking about that, that you studied, that you studied too late. It's kind of a yeah. bit late. It's not that it's too late, but um, now I'm 50. I guess my energy in 10 years is not going to be as mm. much as I have now. And these projects and all social entrepreneurships take time. So probably if I would have started 10 years before, uh, my project would be more mature now. But in the same way, uh, I started with 45. I still haven't read my book. I'm planning to do it maybe in my 60s. <laughs> so there's time for everything. The other day I was reading about Ortega, the uh, founder of Sara, the retailer, Spanish retailer. And he really started his business to be big at 55. Mm. So he's been with his small retailer and frame in Galicia. And, 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 so, and there are lots of studies, uh, stories about it, entrepreneurs everywhere that they didn't start doing something until they're in their 50s. So 